G'day viewers, welcome back. Today I've been handed the, well I'm not going to say task, I'm going to say the privilege of constructing a couple of cemetery flower pots. You know, the ones you go to the, I mean I know it's a pretty dark subject, but there's quite a few good techniques um, into making these. So I thought, I'll film it. Um, yeah, you know, you go to the cemetery to put flowers in someone's grave and they have these little plastic pots that you stick in the ground and and put your flowers in and there you go. And then a couple of days later, cemetery workers come along and collect them all. Well, we've found out that our local cemetery here has said that if you make a custom-made one, um, they won't touch it at all. So it can be there indefinitely and cool. So, today we're going to make a couple of flower pot, cemetery flower pots. Stick around. Right, so, what are you going to need? You're going to need a length of... This is two inch just stormwater pipe and matching end caps. We'll come back to that later. You're also going to need a couple of well, bolts, doesn't matter what they are, as long as they're threaded. So you don't want a, like a, a, a timber thread, you want an actual nut thread. Doesn't matter how long they are, as long as you want it, you're going to be cutting the heads off these. These are, I think, 220, even 10 by 220. And you're also going to need some round washers. Now, I didn't buy any. You can, but I'm going to make my own uh, from some 1.6 mil steel plate. I'm just going to use a hole saw, big hole saw. There's not as much purchase on that as I, as I can get. Um, whereas a flat washer that you buy at hardware, it's going to be about half that size. So, first thing we need to do is drill a hole in the centre of these. How are you going to know where centre is? I'm pretty sure I've shown this trick before, but I'll show it again just to A, update B, because it's relevant to this. Get a pair of dividers. Now, I've already actually marked these, but let's get your ruler and measure the inside diameter. As you can see there, that's, oh, you probably can't, that's about 56 millimetres inside here. So, remembering that your dividers are going to have a point on it, and it's, it's going to be a strange shape. So that, the point, the tip, is actually going to sit out from the edge here. So you want to figure out how much that is, that's about two, two, three millimetres. Set them so that your tip is on the two to three millimetre mark. Set that at 28 millimetres. Then just find some different spots and just scribe. Okay, just move around about 180 degrees. Back. There's another one. Now go about 90 degrees. It doesn't have to be exact. That's the beauty of this technique. Go again. At that angle. And then again at that angle. And that point right in the middle. That's your center. Now you probably can't see it there. But I've actually already center punched this. Because as I said. I pre-marked these. And then I thought. No wait. I'm going to film this. There's your center point. Then you center punch that, that's where you drill. Alright, there's our center pilot holes drilled. Now we've got to drill these out the size, which, as we know from the bolt, is 10 millimeters. Now 
Now you probably noticed I drilled a couple of pilots in this sheet as well. That's always a good practice. Well, it's always good practice to drill pilot holes for anything. But that's going to help the hole saw grab onto the center point there and just drill out as we need. Well, we'll start with those two. Then we'll move on. We'll put two more down here. So how do you know where to mark your center point so that you don't cut off an edge like that? Pretty simple. Just take the whole cutting part of the saw, set it about five mil in from each edge, center punch, just put it down through the middle, sort of go away from the edges. There you go. Now you know, because you went on the inside of the hole saw and it was already away from the edges there's no way you can ever come and grab the edges I need to remark that so we know where to put the other one it's kind of around there plenty of room we're just going to put that one there. By the end of that, we're going to end up with a bit of Swiss cheese by the look of it. Again, draw your pilot first, then you can cut them out. And of course, it's always a good, a good idea to have a scrap of water underneath so that you're not drilling into your drill bed. our four washers cut yeah they're gonna need a bit of dressing on the on the linisher so that's fine and we're also gonna to have to open these up to 10 mil as well so that they fit the bolt <laughs>
once you've drilled them, especially with a blunt drill bit, I've, I've actually shown before that it is possible to drill through metal like this and not have this little step at the end. That's, that's rather annoying. Simplest way to get rid of that, a bigger drill bit. That's not going through there. You can also use a countersink bit, but a drill bit actually has a sharper taper on it. Well, not as sharp. That's a, that's 90 degrees. The standard drill bit should be somewhere around 120 degrees. So it's a bit bit flatter. Once again, clamp it in your vice grips. You don't want to hit it hard, you just, you just want to kiss it. Just to get rid of that, that big ugly bird. Well, it's still a little bit there, go a bit more. There we go. No sharp edges. bit on the inside of these just to take away that, that lip on the inside of the cups there. And now we're going to just flatten out the bottoms. the ends off these and make a point. Mm. This next part's not essential, I'm just doing it because I don't want it to be falling apart on me. So screw your, get all your assembly together, you got a nut wound all the way down, throw a washer on, throw your cup on, the other washer, and then just screw that down, just a couple of threads, so that it's underneath, and we're going to weld the nut to the top of the bolt. Got my earth down here. And here we go. Doesn't need to be a lot, just enough to hold the nut in place. Do that. It's not going to move. That's fine. 
and then once that's cooled off I hit it with some silver gout because it will be exposed to a lot of water there we go I'm also just going to hit the edges of the of the outside washer because again that's going to be exposed to the atmosphere and of course the tip doesn't need a lot and now we're just going to wind that lower washer up in the lower nut that's a nut that's a nut just going to wind that up into place There we go. Tighten that up. Okay, we're going to need a socket on the inside one, obviously, to hold it in place. Socket. There we go. Alright. Now we can sit that aside. Make the next one. Pretty much the only part left is to cut the PVC. My partner wanted a length of 160 mil, so I've marked that. I'm just going to stick it in the in the saw, cut it off. Yeah, I'm getting good at this. into the end now you can use a PVC ceiling glue around here you don't need to because I mean it's it's not going to be under pressure so it doesn't need the seal the, the close fit of the the cap is probably going to be seal enough and well, there we go it's done apart from decorating now my partner wants to paint it and decorate it. Yep, we're going to do that, but just wanted to show you how to, how to make. And there we go. All done. Well, there they both are. Finished and primed, ready for paint, which I'll get onto in the next couple of days. They are going to need, obviously, more coats of primer, but that's pretty much how they're going to look. Can't get them yeah, that big. There we go. Another coat of primer or two. Scuff it down before I put more primer on. That's them. Done. Again, sorry about the... Sorry if it's a bit of a dark subject matter. But as I said, there's a few techniques in there that I wanted to, wanted to share. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.